So you remember that now we have started congruence lessons two, two weeks back and we have discussed two cases already. So the first case we discussed was uh, SAS. So let me write SAS. So recordings are available for these cases if you want to revise. Second one we learned was AAS, angle angle side. And today we are discussing about SSS and today we are discussing about RHS also. So then we are going to get with the a lesson we are going to get done with the lesson right so essay is you know that to prove two triangles are congruent to prove that two triangles are congruent you need angle a side and another side so like that angle side and a side that's how you prove as a s two sides a is you have to prove with two angles two angles and one side again i can take two angles and one side now, SSS means to prove that you should have three sides. All three sides should be congruent. That's all you have to do with this part, right? So write down the topic, case three, SSS, the third case, SSS. And then we'll write the small note. about the others. Okay, now write down, below that you write. When three sides of a triangle gets equal, when three sides of a triangle When three sides of a triangle gets equal, to three sides of, to three sides of another triangle, to three sides of another triangle. Now, just now we started the session. Topic is SSS. And the definition, just now I read it. So I'll reread it. Check your definition. When three sides of a triangle gets equal to three sides of another triangle, to three sides of another triangle, it is Can called... When three sides of a triangle gets equal to three sides of to three sides of another triangle, it is called SSS case. Is called SSS case. Now look at the board. We are going to do an example. I'm going to discuss an example. Leave your pens down, sit back and listen carefully. Now if I consider two triangles, like let's tell K, L, M and we'll say X, Y, Z. Now I'm going to give you some data. Have a look on this. This way, this way and this way. Three lines I have used because I have to use. Other than that, I can't name them. Then I can say um, the same way, but a little different like this. Now, I'm going to write the case of congruency. This is how you write for the exams also. In the triangle KLM and triangle XYZ. Okay. Now I'm considering KLM triangle first. I can see KL side, KM side, and LM side. Now, in K, what can you tell about KL side? In the triangle XYZ, what is the side equal to KL? XY. XY. Okay, she's somebody's telling KL is equal to XY. Okay, now that's correct because you can see it's clearly marked X, X, Y. Then what about KM? 
yz yeah km double line so that is yz now lm the remaining side xz now for these the proof is data or you can say given you should write that how did you get it how do you know it is it equal so you can say it's data it's directly given it's provided for us so that's how you are doing the proof now you can write therefore triangle the first triangle you considered was klm triangle klm congruent to triangle x y is it now just tell me if two triangles are congruent i taught you in the beginning of the lesson what are the other corresponding data you can collect i can write here bracket s s s what are the other corresponding data tell me if two triangles are congruent angles what can you tell about the angle Ah, uh, very good. What can I tell about the angles? K angle is equal to which angle? L angle is equal to which angle? And M angle is equal to which angle? Now copy down this example uh, and find what are the equal angles and uh, keep it. We'll discuss. Okay, have you done? Are you done with the work? Did you find out what are the equal angles? If anybody found, if anybody is confident with the answer, send me what are the equal angles? What is the equal angle for K L M? What happened to Ruka here today? Okay, I'm receiving answers. Very good. Now look at the board. K angle. Just have a look. The ones who couldn't find, listen. K angle is there between these two sides, ne? Triple line and double line. Triple line and double line are here. Angle that is between is Y. So K angle is equal to Y. L angle is between triple line and one line. So triple line and one line between those two angle is X. M angle is. Between double line and single line, so double line and single line is is a angle. See how easy. Now we'll see how many of you have found it correctly. K equal y, l equal x, m equal z. Sahdiya correct. K equal y, l equal x, m equal z. Yeah, Sabana correct. M equal z. Rifana correct. 
uh, Twizka says k equal z. That's wrong. Uh, L equal x, somebody is saying. Rifana, k equal y. Yeah, all correct, Rifana. Uh, that's all I have received, your answers. So yeah, good. Clear? Sabiha, is it clear for you? Yes. Uh, Haskrit, what about you? Is it clear? Shaskrit, is it clear? Yes, miss. Okay, right. Now write down a question for you. So in this question, uh, I'm going to give you a kind of a task like you have to uh, maintain the figure. You have to draw the figure and then you have to mark all the possible data and then you have to prove the congruency as well. So write down the question. In a quadrilateral PQRS, in a quadrilateral PQRS, The sides P, the sides P and R, the sides P and R the sides P and R are joined by are joined by a diagonal. Full stop. Prove that, prove that triangle PQR is congruent to triangle PSR. Triangle PQR congruent to triangle PSR. Okay, Rukhaya, you just joined now. So what we did was we started the case SSS. We wrote the definition. Then we did this example, which is on the board. Uh, and then after that, we, I gave a question. That question is sent to, you, sent to you in the chat box. So you can copy down the example, leave some space for definition of SSS, and then you can start the question that I have sent in the chat. So everyone now start doing the question. You have to prove triangle PQR is congruent to triangle PSR. So I have not given any data for you. So you should think and say, what are the data, what are the possible data that you can collect from the question? You had to draw the figure, you had to mark the data in your own, and you had to prove the two triangles are congruent under the case of SSS, under the case of SSS. And the next part is after proving the congruency, you have to write down what are the remaining corresponding elements. That means the possible equal angles, just like we did for this example question. Hope the question is clear. If you have any doubts, you can ask me. So I'll give you time around four minutes of a time, four minutes only. At 11.24, you have to stop.
Good. Two people are done with the question. That's good. Before the allocated time, you have taken only two minutes of a time. That's good. Three are done. Four are done. Right, quickly, two more minutes. Quickly finish the question, proof question. Okay, most of them are done. One more remaining. Okay, now we can discuss the question, right. Now look at the question. It says, in a quadrilateral PQRS, first I can draw a quadrilateral. Usually we draw this kind of ones. Okay, now this is PQRS, I had to name them. So let, before I name, I had to read the question. In the quadrilateral PQRS, the sides P and R are joined by a diagonal. Okay, P and R should be opposite. Then if I start from here, P, Q, R, S, P and R opposite. They are joined by a diagonal P, R. Now they are saying, prove that triangle P, Q, R and triangle P, R, S. Can you see two triangles now? P, Q, R and P, R, S. But there are no data here. But it says that in a quadrilateral, now what can you tell? In a quadrilateral means, now uh, this is a quadrilateral. I just gave you only quadrilateral. Both but it's side are equal. Yeah. So actually, I should give the word parallelogram. Please cut the word Parallel. quadrilateral. Parallelogram. I forgot. Parallelogram. Write down there. Parallelogram. So parallelogram, you know that opposite sides are equal and also opposite sides are parallel. Here I can write opposite sides are equal and opposite sides are parallel. Now we'll go to the proof. In the triangle PQR, I can see the side PQ. Only side I want. I want this to be proved under SSS case. So don't take angles here. PQ side and the next side is QR side and the next side is PR side. Now, what is the side PQ equal to in the triangle PRS? SR. Ah, uh, you can clearly see opposite side. In QR is equal to which side? SP. SP. PR is equal to which side? Yeah. 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 This one you can write the reason. Uh, opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. Opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. You can write that as the reason. Based on that knowledge, only you took it. For this one, you can write down common side. Now I can write down, therefore, triangle PQR congruent to triangle PSR. Rukaya, now can you understand? Yes, miss. Okay. Now, based on this, I said Please you write me. down the extra. Yeah. I wrote PR equal to common side. PR equal to common side, you can't write, but you have to write down PR is equal to which side of the triangle PR is. And then within bracket, you have to write the reason. Okay. okay now the corresponding elements. Corresponding elements means the angle. So how many angles are there? Like if I take PQR triangle, PQR angle are there. So P angle, Q angle, R angle. So P angle is there between common side and single line. 
So between common side and the single line, angle is R. This is equal to this. Then Q angle is there between single line and double line. So single line and double line. So Q angle is equal to S angle. You know, in a parallelogram, opposite angles are equal. You know that. So we can consider in that way as well. Opposite angle, Q and S. Now, R angle is there. P, P angle, Q angle, R. R angle is this one. Okay, this angle. This angle. So we have to write in full form, right? In full form, if we write... Uh, SRP. SRP. Then R R P is equal to Q P R S P R S P R. This angle is equal to uh, which one? Uh, Q R P. Double line and common side. P R Q. Yeah. Double line and common side. P R Q. Then P S R P S R is equal to this one. P Q R. P Q R. P, Q, R. Did you understand everyone? If anybody feels like, no, it's not clear for me, just ask me how I took. Right. Copy down the corresponding elements and the uh, congruency question. And the ones who are done with everything here, light is there. Right? Once you're done with everything, go to exercise 5.3 and start doing question number one. Question number one. So there are nine questions. Nine questions are there. We are going to discuss all the nine. Each question will be given two minutes. So you are given totally 18 minutes and extra two minutes will be given. So 20 minutes of a time is there for you to uh, prove the congruency in each. And after proving, don't forget to write down corresponding element. All the triangles you are proving here should be under the case of SSS, but some triangles will not show congruency. For those triangles, you write not congruent. You don't want to prove anything. You can directly write not congruent. And there is no necessity of drawing the figure unless you need it. So your time starts now, 11.30. Until 11.50, you have time. Okay, if two triangles are not congruent, how to identify? Somebody's asking. Now look at this one. There are two triangles X, Y, Z, K, L, sorry, L, M, N. Now, here they have given this hypotenuse is 10 centimeter. And in this one, hypotenuse is also 10 centimeter. And this side is double line here shown, here double line shown. Now, if I take this triangle, x, y, z triangle, x, z side is there, x, y side is there, y, z side is there. Can you tell me what is x, z side equal to? L, M. Uh, y, z is equal to which side? L, M. Ln. X Y is equal to which side? Nm. Nm. Who told, Nm. Who told you X Y is equal to Nm? You can't tell. It's not given. So, no data. Not enough data. Then we can say they are not congruent. Not congruent. Okay. okay. So, here most triangles, you have to prove the congruency. Okay, do it. So let's go to the questions. Question number one, Roman number one, whether they are congruent or not. So I'm not going to draw the triangle. I'll write the proof congruency only. Roman number one, I can take triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Now, when I consider triangle ABC, there are three sides. AB side, AC side, and BC side. So AB side is eight centimeter. The triangle PB, yeah, PB in the triangle PQR, PB. And AC side is 5 centimeter. In the triangle PQR, it is QR side. 
then okay, a b a b no, miss number. miss is it p b p r no p r no yeah wait p r p r okay p r is equal to a b okay right b c side b c is equal to which one p q yes p q what are the corresponding elements there are three angles a angle b angle c angle a is equal to which angle r angle r r 8 and 5 between 8 and 5 is r b angle is equal to which angle p angle p angle c angle is equal to q so this is let's say abc is congruent to pqr under the case of sss wait a second okay second roman number roman number 2 there are two triangles abc and pqr so ab ac bc right ab side they have given single line so in the other triangle it is uh, qr qr yeah qr and ac triangle so ac side is the single line Okay. AB is QR, AC is PQ, and next one is PR. Corresponding yeah. elements you can write down. A angle is equal to which one? Q. Q. Yeah, very good. Q. B angle? R. 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 C angle is P. P. So you you should write down. Triangle ABC congruent to triangle PQR under the case of SSS. Please write it down. Roman number three I already discussed. Right. Roman number four. Roman number four I am going to ask from Sahdia. So Sahdia, tell me, how did you write? What are the data you collected for Roman number four? PQ equals ST. Okay, first you had right triangle PQR and RST, and you are saying PQ is equal to ST. Then QR equals RS. Correct. Next, PR equals RT. Okay, right. Then you can write down. There are four triangle PQR congruent to triangle RST under the case of SSS. What are the corresponding elements, Sahdia? PQR angle equals RST angle. Okay, PQR angle equal RST angle. Okay. Okay, uh, PR angle equals PQS angle. Okay, let's see. P angle is equal to Q angle. She's saying, is it correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, is it congruent? This triangle, fourth one, yes, they are congruent. You can see in the data are there. It's congruent. Why? What's the problem? Yes, there is one line and two line. There is no three line. Okay, there is no three line. Ah, uh, there's a mistake in the diagram. It's a mistake, but you can take it as a PR side is RT, and you can take QR side is RS. That should be triple line. QR side equal RS is triple line. Okay, and she said angles. Okay, what is the next angle, Sahdia? PRQ equals SRT, vertically opposite angles. Wait, wait a second. PQ, PQR is equal to RST. That's correct. RPQ, RPQ is equal to. RPQ. It's equal to which one? RT. RT. RTS, oh, yeah, RTS. Okay, the next one, vertically. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, vertically opposite angles. SRT, vertically opposite angles. Good. Right, Roman number five. Uh, Rifana, can you tell me whether they are congruent? No, they are not congruent. 
Okay, they are not congruent because not enough data for Roman number five. You can see A B side equal E D side and B C side is equal to C E side. Other data is not given, so they are not congruent. Roman number six, Shastrit. Are they congruent? Yes, Miss. Okay, what are the data you collected? P Q equal P S. Hmm. P Q equal P S. Then. QR equal SR. SR. Next one. PR common side. PR equal PR common side. You can write. So you can write there for triangle PQ are congruent to PRS. Right. Uh, Roman number seven. Twister. Are they congruent? Are they congruent? Twister. DAC triangle. Yes, teacher. Yeah, what are the data you wrote? DC equal to AB. Hmm. equal to CB. Okay. okay AC, AC equal to AC. AC. Come and say. Triangle DAC is congruent. Triangle ABC. What are the corresponding elements you wrote? There are three angles, DCA, CDA, and CAD. DCA is equal to which angle, children? CAB. Yes, very good. She's in CAB. Okay, Twiska, you can mute your mic. It's, uh, you have a lagging. You're lagging. Next one, CDA is equal to ABC. CAD is equal to which angle? A, C, check your answers. Right. Roman number. Please, I wrote uh, D, A, C. Is it okay? For C, A, D, I wrote C, uh, D, A. Third no, that's okay. Middle, middle value should be same. Middle value should be same. If these two change, okay. it's okay. Right. Okay, right. Uh, next one. So, Rukaya, can you tell me in Roman number 8, are they congruent? Yes, miss. What are the data? A, B equals to B, C. Okay. A, B equals to C, D. Okay. And B, B equals to B, D. Okay. What are the other corresponding elements? A, D, B. Angle A, D, B equals to angle B, D, C. Very good. Angle A, B, D equals to C, B, D. Very good. Next one. B A D equals to angle B A B C D. Very good. So these two triangles are congruent under the case of SSS. And the last one, are they congruent? Sabana, tell me the last one. Are they congruent? Okay, Rishma says no. Sabana says A B is equal to Q R. Yes. And AC is equal to PQ, yes. So what is the next side then? Are there provided data? Yeah, we don't have any data. So we can say they are not congruent because only two data. We can't say BC equal PR because there is no proof to say they have not provided us the data. So we can't say BC equal to PR. So these two triangles are not congruent. So first question is done. Mark your homework question number two, four, and five. Mark your homework, question number two, four, and five. And now start doing question number three. Now start doing question number three. I'll give you four minutes of a time.
it's an easy question the only thing is you should have a little knowledge on your constructions lesson of grade 9 that's all you should know because there are hidden data data is given in the question you have to identify and mark them on your diagram if you can mark you are getting a proper understand about the question and you can prove the congruency as well you can prove the congruency and the question is little wrong uh, they have given equal mark prove that pbr equal qbr um, yeah yeah that's correct angle angle okay that's fine you have to prove the congruency and then you have to say angle pbr equal to qbr and you have to write the reason it's a proof question do it correctly it's a proof question you know how to do proof questions right Right, so I'm not done. One minute more. Right, let's go to the question now. Listen, to bisect the angle ABC, bisect means you know the meaning, I told you. To bisect the angle ABC, a student selects the point B as the center. Now you're keeping your compass at this point and you're drawing the arc PQ. So children, you just try this and see. If you keep your compass at a point and draw an arc, measure this side, and measure this side and see. You know that in grade nine constructions we learned if there is same radius, it's a same radius when the center is this one. And if you draw a complete circle, you know that this is the radius. So these two are R. So radius is equal, right? So I can say if it is bisected, these two sides are equal. Then it says the arc intersects AB and BC at the points P and Q respectively. And two equal arcs are drawn from the point P and Q. Equal arcs. If you keep your compass here and draw an arc without changing the radius, you keep your compass at this point P and cut that arc without changing the radius. So that means the line drawn from here to here and the line drawn from Q to R, both are equal because they have the same radius. That means PR is equal to QR. Now, can't you do the congruency? They are saying there are two triangles here. And this is a line we can connect. There are two triangles, triangle PBR and triangle PQR. See how easy the question is. You have a diagram given. The word bisected and the word equal are the most helpful one. Where every day you have remember, if it is bisected, they are equal. And it says you are keeping the center P and Q without changing the radius. You are drawing equal lines, so they are equal. Now, when I consider triangle PBR, I can say that the side PB and there is a side BQ and there is a side BR. Now, when I say PB side, it is equal to BQ side. I can write the reason, same radial. If I take the side BQ, I can say, oh, wait, PB, PB, PR. Ne? Isha, can't P we take PR? Wait, PB, PR, BR. But, Rifana? 
Ah, okay. P R equal Q R. Yeah, now P R is equal to Q R. The same thing you can write down. Uh, you can write equal arcs. No, equal uh, to equal arcs are drawn from the point P. You can. It's it's actually given in the question. Equal radii. Again, same radius. Taking the same radius in the compass, keeping here, drawing, keeping here, drawing. Now BR is equal to BR. It's common side. Who got this answer correct? Exactly, tell me. I got this. Very good, very good. Transcript got another. Who is the other sir? Very good. It's it's really good if you got because you have understood the question properly. You have understood the words bisected. Others, no, a little even. Who came up to some date at least? Okay, copy down. Is the question clear now? Sabiha, Rukaya, Sahadiya, should I tell your names and ask? Is the question clear? Okay, Sahadiya, I got. She got the answer. Rukaya, half correct. Sabiha, okay, right. Make the question completely clear. If you don't understand it, don't tell that it's clear. It's no point. Right. Other questions are homework. Copy down this and then write down the topic. Case four, R H S. The final case we are discussing. R H S. RHS. So question number two is not hard. It's just like uh, the questions what we met in exercise 5.1, 5.2. Question number two is also were the same. So in this question also, you have to draw the figure, you have to mark the data, and then you have to write the uh, corresponding elements, remaining corresponding elements. And question number four and five, four is uh, super easy. Question number four is very easy. It's a proof question. Once you do the congruency, you can uh, easily do Roman number two and three. And question number five is a question uh, like I gave you the example, uh, because you have to draw your own figure and then you have to mark the data and then you have to prove the congruency, then you can prove the corresponding elements. Right, let's start RHS. Case four, R, H, S. Now this is not hard. This is easy. This is also easy. Now R, H, S, in this case, you have to remember Pythagoras as well because Pythagoras is the person who is much related with right angle triangles. In your grade nine lessons also, we have discussed about the Pythagoras theorem. Now when I take two triangles and name them as A, B, C and P, Q, R, just have a look on the diagram. I'll give you the side. Three centimeter is the hypotenuse. This hypotenuse is also three centimeters. So in other words, this is equal to this. And if I take this sun, right angle triangle, you have to mark that unless right angle, listen carefully, unless right angle is marked, you can't consider it as a right angle triangle. What did I say? Unless right angle is marked in your diagram, you can't say it is a right angle triangle. I can say one side is 2.5 centimeter here and this side is 2.5 centimeter. So that means in the other words, these two sides are equal. So only this much of data is given. So first thing is, but you have to understand what is this RHS means. R means the right angle, the depicted right angle. H means hypotenuse. Okay, hypotenuse. And also, S means the remaining side. Now I can say, just as usual, we are writing here. In the triangle A, B, C and triangle P, Q, R. Now look at the board. I can see if I consider triangle A, B, C, I have three sides A, B, A, C 
and BC. So AB is not given. It's not given that it is equal to any side. Now this is not SSS. This is not SSS. This is RHS. Then I can't write like this. I have to consider AC is equal to PR. What is that? It is the. It is not a side, children. If somebody write it is a side, it's wrong. It is not a side. It is the hypotenuse. Okay. So you can write down that is a data. And remember, just keep in your mind, it is not a side, it is the hypotenuse. Because some children, they do this question in a different way, in a wrong way. I'll, I'll show you the wrong way also. So this is hypotenuse. And the remaining BC side is equal to QR side. That is also data. And that is a side. That is a side. No problem. And next one, angle. Angle ABC is equal to angle RQP. That is also data. And that is the right angle. It's not just an angle. It is right angle. Now I can say, therefore, triangle ABC congruent to triangle PQR under the case of RHS. Now you might feel, okay, this is all the same as all the other three cases. But children, students are doing mistake in this question. How are they doing the mistake? Now look at the board. How are they doing the mistake? They are writing like this. AC is equal to PR and they will write BC is equal to QR and they will write ABC is equal to RQP. They will write this properly. And what, what will they say? Therefore, triangle ABC congruent to triangle PQR under the case of SAS. Now, this is wrong. If you write like this, your marks will be deducted. They will give you marks for this sometimes, but not for this one. Sometimes some examiners, they will cut the whole marks because you have not understood the concept properly. This is not SAS. SAS is applicable for side angle side. RH is applicable, applicable for right angled triangle who is having a hypotenuse and who is having a right angle. Did you understand the difference? Yes, teacher. Yes, so don't do this mistake. Don't do this mistake. Always remember, and if if a right angle is marked, definitely it is RHS case. Right. Now copy down uh, before copying down, write down RHS and below that write down the case of the hypotenuse, the case of the hypotenuse below that, right? The case of the hypotenuse and a side of and a side of the case of the hypotenuse and a side of a right angled triangle, a right angled triangle being equal to the being equal to the hypotenuse being equal to the hypotenuse and a side of and a side of another right angled triangle another right angled triangle now copy down the given example and please copy down the mistake one also with a red pen. And you can write below, do not do this. It's a mistake. You can write down like this is mistake. So it's, it sh should not be done. In a side, copy down that also. Here the it's BC. If you can't see, I'll write it here because there's light here. It's BC. And this is AC. This is ABC. You can see it. Copy down. When you're done with the work, let me know. 
Right. Uh, let me give you a question now. You have to do it. Write down. Uh, prove that. Prove that. Triangle OXA, right like this. Triangle OXA congruent to triangle OXB. Yeah, that's enough. And draw this picture. There's a circle. And you have to prove the congruence. This is the center. So understand, this is the center. That is important. Right. Do the question. Prove the congruence. Okay. What is it? Okay, that, that one. I have sent a message to the group. So it's like this. Tomorrow, 7.30 to 8.30, you will have the binomial expressions paper. It will be an offline paper. And Tuesday, uh, the second term batch students will have the algebraic fractions paper. It's also offline, 7.30 to 8.30, one hour. And on 23rd, Wednesday, at the usual class hour, 7.30 to 9.30, you will have the percentages grade 10 session two. Uh, so the children who miss this percentages session one can get the recording. And if you're willing to join percentages session two, you can join it on coming Wednesday. And uh, the payment is 700 with the recording, with the recording. Then 27th, next week, Sunday, you will have a seminar on frequency distribution grade 10 lesson. It's not free for anyone. It's an extra session. It's not free for anyone. It's a seminar. It's your third term lesson. And it's very important because you are getting a compulsory question in your all level paper. So percentage is also I made it to a seminar because you are getting a compulsory question to your all level paper. So who are willing to join frequency distribution? You have to just pay 300 only, 300 only for three hours. So it's more fair and uh, I'll be doing all the questions and the notes will be provided uh, and the grade 10 lesson of frequency distribution will probably be covered right mm, yeah that's all the plan for next week so keep it in your mind I have already sent it uh, to the group now we'll go to the question so if I consider two triangle ox a this is a radius for children ox is radius so it is getting equal to ob because it's the center I can write down the reason here, same radii. Then what is the next data? Can anyone tell me? Can't we write it as hypotenuse? 
uh, no o x x b ah uh, you can write hypotenuse but the reason how did you identify no, no, that i mean like this o a equal o b sorry not o o x o a that's correct o a equal o b is correct rifana reason is not hypotenuse it is the hypotenuse of course it is the hypotenuse but your reason should be same radii based on the radius only we found they are equal okay what is the okay. next data a x equal a x b okay a x equal x b x b who told you a x equal x b how do you know what is the reason you told that o x is the same radius okay now somebody is telling o x equal o x reason common side common side Uh, what side. is next data? Next data. O A uh, sorry O X A equals to O X B. O X B. Ah, what is the reason? Right angle. Ah, uh, right angle. Now somebody said that A X equal X B. Reason? That same is. radii. No, it's not. Not the same radii. But we can tell they are equal. Of course, they are equal. But not because of same radii. It is the perpendicular. Ninety degrees there, but you can't take this one because if you take it, you are getting S A S case, S A S case. That's what I told you not to take. This R H S right angle triangle angle is there means your question, your answer should be R H S case. So I can write down there are four triangle O X A congruent to O X B R H S. Okay, that's done. Now go into question number one, exercise five point four. Not everything, not everything. I'll tell you the questions. Mark them. Five point four. Mark these questions. Okay, I'll write the questions on the board. You can easily do it. Roman number one. Two. Six and ten. I erase this part here because not visible of light. These are the questions. This one and this one. Five are there. Each ten minutes. So each two minutes. So you are getting ten minutes. We'll see how many of you can do Roman number ten. Challenging question. 